Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be so much fun, you guys. I am reorganizing my room. Um, something I've been really, really, really wanting to do this summer because ugh, I don't know if I've talked about this, but like this summer, I want to be like a self-love, like spiritual. I think everyone is doing like a spiritual girl summer, but no, seriously, like we're trying to develop ourselves. We're trying to grow a little bit. So I'm excited. And with that, I feel like I've totally outgrown my room. Like I'm going to give you guys like a whole 360 view of what it looks like. I don't know. I just feel like my room is so cute, but I'm definitely outgrowing it. Like the blue stripes. <sighs> Yo. I have so here's the thing you guys I want to completely redo this room I technically have two rooms this room in here and let me walk you to the other one again only child maybe that's why I specified and this room is a hot mess right now so like we're not even gonna really give you guys a good view <laughs> That's kind of like my craft room. I have like my sewing machine in there and just like a bunch of craft materials and storage and things like that in there. Um, but it is super nice to have like the closet space, like, you know, the desk. Like I just have like a whole little vibe in there as well. Um, and I'm super fortunate for that. But again, only child. So when the house comes with two rooms, you know what I mean? So I have been really wanting to redo both of those rooms. Um, we moved into this house, the walls were painted like a purple color. So again, they were like the color of the walls in here. Um, and so when we moved in, we repainted, we painted all the walls white. And then we did this wall with the blue and white stripes. And I added my monogram and like, it was such a vibe when I was in high school, when I was, you know, in high school um and so like now that i'm older and now that i'm almost 20 yes i'm almost 20 years old it's just not giving what it needs to give but here's the thing you guys i don't know how much longer we're going to be living in new mexico basically to explain my mom and i both don't want to live here anymore she's going through her stuff trying to figure out what she wants to do i'm trying to figure out what i want to do because i'm still in school i'm trying to figure out like what my next steps are where i want to go to school if i want to go back to school if i want to just move somewhere like i don't know i i have a lot of thinking going on right now um but that's exactly why i don't want to put so much work into these rooms because i feel like if we move it'll have to be taken down and i also don't want to spend too much money because i'm trying to save for the future you know like logistically i just don't know how much longer i'm gonna be here in the state that i'm in or in this house etc so i'm not gonna do like a complete transformation like there's not gonna be new paint new furniture like none of that and honestly i love my furniture i've got white furniture that's the one thing i'm so glad i i chose when i was younger i was a g for the white furniture so like i'm still in love with like my dresser um and like the white elements of this room it's really just like the stripes you know what i mean i like my monogram i'm not gonna give up my monogram i think it's cute and then like stuff like this like dream big you know what i mean like that's like that's gotta go so like this stuff i i want to change out eventually but really this video is about the organization um as you will see i completely went through almost everything in this room completely tore it apart i think um i filmed this a few weeks ago so i had probably been home for about a month and i was like I'm gonna completely redo my, my room. Like, does anybody else go through that? I feel like with phases and transitions of life, like your room changes with you. <laughs> this has been like a huge project and one that I definitely wanted to get started before the summer really kicks off because like just these little like teal accents, like I just, this is an empty picture frame. Like I just, I need a new, a new room. Like I need a new room, that's as simple as that. So before I get into this part of the video, I'm gonna roll the footage of me organizing and taking out all of my high school things. All right, so here's all the cringy stuff. Like I had a penny jar with a bow on it. You know what I mean? Like why? I don't know what that is. Um, a mom, like this is really cute. Like that's cute. But you know, again, I ended that. Football players, little ESPN Sports Center just sitting in the corner. Bows, 
of course, all of my sashes making me look like a high school sellout. Like that needs to hit the storage bin, you know what I mean? Here are some of the things I know I need before I even get started. I know that I need two or three bins for my high school memorabilia, like all of it's going. The bows, the sashes, like when I was on homecoming court, when I was homecoming queen, or what was I, princess? Not me, not me messing up the title now. Like we're just gonna go down memory lane and put all of this stuff to bed like all of it like i even have like garters so here's the tradition when you're on the on a dance team or a cheer team you get a garter like you're gonna be married or something um because it's like you give yourself away to the organization i'm guessing that's the symbolic reference i don't really know like stuffed animals like like ribbons from camp picture i mean it's the memorabilia goes on and on and on I even am gonna put my Letterman jacket in there. Um, this is my Letterman jacket. Um, this, so I don't know if everybody does this, but it's a huge tradition where I live. And especially on the West Coast, like people still do these Letterman jackets. Whenever I, when I went to school on the East Coast, when I went to college, I would always show people my Letterman jacket and they were like, are you kidding me? Like we don't have Letterman jackets, like that's not a thing. Like all of these pins mean something. The, the spirit team always gets what's called a sailor flap. It's like an extra flap with your name on it. Like that's like the spirit team, dance team. Like they always got this. Um, like I really wanted to go to the University of Alabama when I was in high school. And so I had got that pin. I'm so glad I didn't go to the University of Alabama. You know, memories, we're all gonna put them away. <laughs> kept like the tickets to the dances like what <laughs> look like towels so you can go like what high school has this much merch like there was always merch at these events bruh So yeah, if you're ever looking for volumes and volumes of memorabilia, join like a drill team, join like a dance team, cheer team, because they will keep you supplied for years. Like you guys, this all this stuff is covering my entire bed right now. Like, and when I went to college, I put so much of that away. I don't think you guys understand. Like I did not fully realize that it was gonna be this much. So let's go to the container store. That will be where you see me next because Okay, so update, I don't know why I came to Lowe's because I'm so annoyed. Literally, it's like a maze here. So I'm just like Oh my god. Okay, I'm back in the car. Nothing happened to the car, thank God. Just like weird, like I have weird anxiety right now. <sighs> I'm not sure if it's because of the caffeine that I drank. Honestly, it could be that. But that guy really weirded me out, you guys. Like I ended up getting the bins. I got three clear bins and we're just gonna stuff everything in there. Um, and whatever doesn't fit, it's gonna be thrown in the trash. But that was so weird. <sighs> I never explained it. But basically, this guy was, like, at my car. Like, I got out of my car, walked away, and he, like, ran up to my car. And I was, like, staring at him. And so I locked my car again in front of him, and I, I made eye contact with him. But I was sure he was going to, like, shank me or something. It was, like, this weird, innate, like, anxiety I felt. You know, like, when your gut feeling is, like, uh-uh, something's off about him? And as a woman, like, I have no time to be getting stolen. No. So I was prepared to shank him. I, I mean, I'm not kidding. Like, it's what goes through your mind as a woman. We should, we should like, have an open dialogue about this. Welcome to the side. Order when you're ready, please. Hi, can I just get a hot cinnamon roll? All right. So it'll be 216. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, so I'm get here getting a cinnamon roll because I felt attacked. You guys, I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play. I don't play anymore. Mm -mm. This world is so effed up. This toxic masculinity needs to exit the chat. I feel like I'm sacrificing music so that I don't get copyrighted, but I'm honestly a little bit depressed about that. I want nothing more than to be blasting Lil Baby right now. I'm seeing it in my head, just so you know. I'm a human, I don't feel the room, sometimes I be wrong. I might come and put that on me, don't be running from me. See, that's a good example of why I would get a copyright strike. So let me just not even say anything. What an angel. What a true angel. I almost want to put this in a bag so it doesn't like discolor or anything. I'm a human, I ain't perfect. I know sometimes I'll be wrong. I'm like, come and put that. Don't be running from me. Okay, let me stop. Look at these, you guys. These are little booty shorts with fringe. I forgot what um, dance routine I did with that. It was like, bye bye, baby. Cause baby, you're my baby when my kids will wear them someday. memorabilia, whatever, in three bins. I honestly thought it was gonna take way more than that, but those were perfect, so that was wonderful. You guys, we did it. So I feel like I finally cleared space into my um, room and everything. Oh, these need to go in there too, crap. Can you even see that? These need to go in there too. The senior, oh yeah, that's cute. The senior captain t-shirt needs to go in there. Crap. This honestly should go in there, but I don't think I'm gonna put it in there. Mm, Cause it, it, I remembered it being kind of stinky. Like this is a shirt that was passed on in my high school from like generation to generation. I don't even know when this shirt, when this shirt was made if I'm being completely honest. And they always gave it to the person Oh, it's not that, I must have washed it. No, I didn't. Mm. Oh, um, they always gave it to the person who had the most spirit in the school. And so I got it um, my junior year and I didn't give it to anybody. <laughs> so the whole thing died with me, okay? That is so funny, oh my God. All right, so my bed is not made. Let's please not come for me. Um, honestly, it looks a lot better. I just feel like I have a lot more of like a clean slate. Um, I have a lot to work with, but like my dresser is completely cleared out. Like I've got a bunch of hodgepodge stuff everywhere because I'm trying to make room for my suitcases. I still have suitcases full of things from when I moved out. So I've been trying to make room for the suitcase stuff. And so like I have like active wear jeans and like random tops like all in the same drawer. Like I need to clean that up. Like I need to like reorganize that. Um, this is like undergarments. Down here I have like all of my bathing suits, like literally an entire drawer just for bathing suits. Like it's insane. So I think I'm gonna get like a clear bin for my bathing suits. So like those can, I can clear that stuff out. Um, over here I have pajamas, like sweats, things like that. Um, and then here I've got my crop tops, literally a whole bin full of crop tops and things like that. So this needs to be organized as well because I can totally put those in a bin too. And then on my dresser, I have all of my jewelry. Like I need to organize all of this jewelry. Like I just need something to do with all these accessories. I got this from Home Goods. I wanna say. I love a mirrored tray and I got the gold or the brass just because I have so many brass accents in my room. I kinda wanna make this functional for jewelry. Like I wanna put like a tea stand for like, 
hoops, earrings, maybe bracelets, necklaces, things like that. And I also wanna like accessorize it, like with a fake plant, maybe a candle, something like that. In my closet, I moved all of those pom-poms out and all of those things. And I've got like random stuff, like look at this visor. Like I just need an organizer for hats. I need an organizer for bags. Honestly, my room is not that big, so it's not like a huge project. Um, but you know, going through every single piece of clothing, making sure that like, have, you, have I worn it in the last six months? Like, you know, all of that kind of takes some time. But what I really want to do is I want to put like clear bins up here. Clear because I want to see what's in them. Uh, we'll see. I just kind of, I'm thinking of clear bins up there so I can clear out some of these drawers in my dresser for the things in the suitcases. Um, and I just want to get like some little fake plants and just like minimal decor. I'm gonna go to the stores haul right now. It's haul time! Ah! Okay, it's been a few hours. I am so excited. So I'm gonna be super honest. I did not get like as much organizational things. Let me just say this. Target knows exactly what they're doing with marketing that little sunspot section because I went a little crazy on things that were not a part of this video. I got this little like fake plant. I love fake plants. I want to get into real plants, but I, my life is just too messy right now. Like I'm not even sure where I'll be living next fall. So it's like, why would I get real plants and have to move them and transport? Like that's crazy. So I got a fake one for something. I honestly should have gotten two cause they're so cute and I could put them like anywhere. And then I got these crates. I really wanted like clear organizational bins, but they, I, this is like the best I could get at Target. And I looked everywhere. I went to Walmart, I went to Dollar Tree. Like I really went everywhere. Moment of truth, because if they don't, I'm gonna cry. Well, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna take them straight back to Target. Yes, organization. Thank God. I really did need something up here, y'all. So I'm gonna put all my little bathing suits in there, cover-ups, etc. Yeah, that is so much better. Look. Oh my God. I already love it. Yeah, that was a great investment. Voila! So much better. I have so much room in my closet, so we're just gonna like ignore this, but doesn't that look so much better? As for the jewelry, I never found anything for this mirrored tray the other day. Um, my little interior tip and trick is to always put your jewelry, perfume, any like little items on top of something. Preferably something that's a circle base, maybe like a rectangle, um, just because it gives it more of like a moment. So I never found that the other day. And I also need more fake plants. I need to style this a little bit more and I'm gonna take these down, but I didn't find anything to replace this or this yet. Make sure you're following my Instagram because that's where I'll have all the updates on my Insta stories about all this kind of stuff. So you'll see like when I add things, stuff like that. But for now, that is gonna be all. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Baby, so good.